All right, whenever you're ready. Good morning, everyone. My name is Carlson Canner Edgy, and thank you for coming to my senior project presentation. So starting off with my essential question, I ask myself, what are the steps needed to raise chickens and how can I document the process? So a little bit of a presentation overview here. I'm gonna, talk, I'm gonna touch on why I chose to raise chickens, what my end goal was, the setup of a lot of materials, the hatching process, my daily chores for taking care of the chicks. By the way, I took care of them before I came here. Uh, my pre and post senior project day and my final reflections. So a little bit of a connection to the Millis High School core values and beliefs. I highlighted here, we challenge students to develop increased understanding of themselves as citizens in a global society. And we strive to empower students as they become self-directed, respectful, responsible, and civic-minded individuals. And I said this relates back to my project because I was really responsible for all the steps in my project. I was dealing with live animals, and that just that's, that falls squarely on my shoulders because you don't really want to mess around with that. And then you also get real-world skills out of it, too. So why I chose this project. So I wanted a project that wasn't necessarily the norm. You know, it wasn't just a one day, like it wasn't a one day project and then it's, the, it's over, like it, it was a progression, right? I'm still taking care of them today, I'm not just gonna put them out in the field, my project's over, like I still have to take care of them and everything. Uh, and I already had a working knowledge, you know, I've been raising chickens for a long time now, so it's definitely good to have a prior knowledge to uh, raising animals. Uh, who doesn't love animals? You know, I'll, I'll get to that later. But uh, I also wanted to educa educate folks more about the process by taking pictures and videos and uh, things of that sort. So what I needed to accomplish, I needed to accomplish, uh, I needed to document the process of taking pictures because that was my question in the first place. So I wanted to time the chicks hatching accordingly to line up with the senior project day. Because I'll talk about the senior project day later. But I didn't want the chickens to be too old when I brought them in for senior project day because people would feel uncomfortable picking up a five pound chicken. So mm -hmm. I tried to just have baby chicks for that day. Uh, I grow my knowledge even more and to teach through my experiences and my failures as well. So my mentor, if you can't tell, it's my dad, Robert Bruce Canaregi. I chose him because he has a degree in agriculture and he has a serious background with raising animals. I think the degree in agriculture really sold him because I don't know how many teachers in Millis High School hold an agriculture degree, but uh, I wanted to kind of keep it close to home, so he's been a great help. And then my background with raising animals. So I've raised chickens for more than 14 years, lived on a small farm all my life, and I also wanted to uh, let people know that I've raised more than five different types of animals. I always tell people that raising animals is very arbitrary in the sense that you know an animal has to be fed, has to be watered, and has to be uh, taken care of. Different animals have different responsibilities and specialty types of care, but it's very similar. And I think just raising not only chickens, but pigs, sheep, it really helps me. So some of my materials, fertilized eggs from the previous chickens, so you can get a chicken. Uh, the incubator was like my golden egg. I needed shavings for the chickens to go to the bathroom so it didn't stink. I had a food, water holder, metal container, and then I needed a heating lamp because when chicks are first born, they can't generate enough heat to survive. So you need that heating lamp incorporated to, um, to provide heat for them. It's actually pretty fascinating. They actually, uh, they huddle up together and they extract heat from one another. So I just thought that was pretty cool. And then I needed a camera to take pictures and videos. So incubating the eggs. So you place an egg from my existing chicken coop into the incubator. 21 days later, with high hopes, you will have a chicken. I mean, it's very cut and dry. It's very, it's really cool. I, it's, it's still mind blowing to me. And I tried to space out eggs accordingly, so I was at different ages. I kind of talked about that. I didn't want to put 25 eggs in one day, so one day I would just go upstairs and there'd be 25 chickens all around there. I tried to space it out so I wouldn't be overwhelmed when all of them were born. So my post incubation. So I moved newborn chicks into the new environment. It was a metal container that I purchased from uh, Tractor Supply. I had to purchase a bag of food, uh, a bag of shavings as well. And then I also had to <coughs> wire tie the top of their box when I first put them in because they'll actually start jumping out and then it's a pain to pick them back up. So uh, that was something, that was definitely a challenge, but I figured out I had to wire tie the box. 
And then sadly, I had to dispose of some of the eggs that sadly didn't hatch because <clears throat> it wasn't my wrongdoing. It's not like I didn't take care of them well enough. It's because, well, they happen to not be fertilized. And it's, it's really a guessing game. You can't just pick up an egg and say, well, is this egg fertilized? You can't tell. So it's really just a guessing game. But uh, it happens. So this was definitely the highlight of my project, seeing the project day. Can't thank Delacey Atkinson enough. It was an awesome event. Folks had the chance to find out about my project. Gave people a chance to hold a chick. You can see Mrs. Knowles right there. Uh, I got great feedback from everyone. I know all three judges here had the chance to pick up a chick and you guys thoroughly seemed to enjoy it. So that was awesome. Just giving back to the community in that sense. So my daily chores, like I said, I have to take care of these daily. It's not just I go up there once a week and I feed and water them. It's a daily thing. So I have to feed and water them, change out the shavings weekly so it doesn't stink. And then we also have a few barn cats, and I have, or I did have them set up in, uh, in the top of our barn, and the barn cats would be running around. And if the cat ever got up, uh, it would be not good. <laughs> so I had, to make, I had to fortify that up there and make sure that the cat didn't get upstairs. And then when they were big enough, I actually did last week, I moved them down here into uh, our old sheep coop, so they're not, they haven't graduated to the big chicken house yet, but they're getting there. Just gotta wait a few more weeks and then they should be good to go. So what I thought went well, like I said, the majority of the eggs hatched, senior project day was the highlight. I got great feedback and I had more materials laying around than I anticipated, than I had anticipated. So I originally thought I only had one heating lamp. I ended up finding two. I found a few water holders that I didn't have to buy, feed holders, because that's just the beauty of when you're unorganized and you find treasures like that. Uh, what could I have done better? So I put up, and I'm not gonna regret any of this because I'm, I'm a firm believer, I don't regret anything, but I guess I'm just gonna take some of these and learn from it from the future. So I guess you could say started incubating earlier, but I wanted to line it up with the senior project day so they were the, they were the right age. Taking more photos and videos. I'm hoping to make a YouTube video because I did say document the process in the near future. Because like I said, my project doesn't end here. And maybe ooh, uh, put up like a step-by-step -step guide on how to raise chickens. Maybe Miss Mannion can put that up on those memories. So I'm thinking about that. And then I wish I brought one or two more chicks in for uh, the project day because I only brought five in and I probably had about 60 people there at a time. So people were a little annoyed that they, some people didn't have the opportunity to pick one up. Uh, so the next steps, my project doesn't end here. So like I said, continue to care for the chicks because they're just, they're gonna survive and everything. And it's, it's all good. Uh, Hopes to donate eggs and then meat profits to Moe's Food Pantry. So it takes a while for the chickens to start laying eggs. But I also want to try to incorporate uh, like maybe a donation to the Moe's Food Pantry. When they're, I actually used to have an egg business. I used to sell farm fresh eggs to neighbors. So I might uh, re-jump that idea and uh, sell, my, sell the eggs from the chickens that I have now to the neighbors, draw a profit and then donate to the Moe's Food Pantry. And then I'm also pursuing agriculture at Mississippi State. This is what I love to do. I love raising animals. I love being outside. That's why I want to do this project. Thank yous. I said my dad, my mentor, gave me some great advice, helped me out. Uh, my mom and my sister, we, me and my dad went to Florida for a week. They kind of took the show over and they took care of them for a week for me, which was awesome. Mr. Bigelow, the man, senior project day. He organized that. That was awesome. But that there, Mrs. Tatum, the OG, she <laughs> helped me edit all my papers and everything. And then Mike Leach, family friend, uh, he went to Few Eggs. Uh, I did not put that there, Mr. Bigelow. <laughs> 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 oh, we're excited. <laughs> <laughs>